This is how I sketched Oprah. I first begin by just creating a rough sketch. This is what I would call an underlay. And all I'm trying to do now is just block in the basic shape and the hair, looking at some reference images to capture some of the proportions of her face. I'm not too worried about trying to, to get an exact likeness. I just really want to have fun doing the drawing and create a feel from the reference images in my sketch. So now I sketch over that underlay and begin to clean up the line work, paying some attention to the basic proportion of her face, her nose and her mouth. Usually if you can capture the eyes, the nose and the mouth and the basic shape of the head, usually the likeness is pretty close. And so now all I'm doing is blocking in her skin tone as well as her dress and then I'll move on to her hair. And I just like to freehand sketch and paint. So this is, this is just the mid-tone colors that I'm using. And so from there, I will start to add just light highlights and some shadows to try to capture some depth. I'm doing the same thing with her hair. And obviously going on now to her dress, using highlights and shadows, creating contrast which creates depth and gives the shapes volume instead of just looking like a flat piece of art. And so some of the key areas that I like to focus on are the cheeks, the chin, the nose. Those are usually the areas of the face that protrude more than others. So I'll go in and work those areas, add some value to her nose, as well as adding in backlighting. So I've chosen a light source, which is to the top right of the image, and then the backlighting, which I've used kind of a pinkish color to light the other side of her face, and that helps to give the face volume. And so I'm also detailing her lips and the area underneath her eyes. If you look at a picture of Oprah's face, for me, it's her eyes and her cheeks and obviously the hair. The hair is like so full and expressive. And that's why in this image, I wanted to emphasize her face, her lips, her eyes and her hair. And then of course, you know, she's standing with kind of attitude even in the positioning of her, her feet. And so it's a lot of fun doing these sketches. In particular, this sketch was a lot of fun. And so this is what I'm doing every day for the month of February, 2022. The Great 28.